The Valorant closed beta has been out for quite some time now, and the community has been learning new tricks and tactics every day. In the last couple of days I've been doing some research and I spent some time on making a tier list of all the Valorant agents. I took the following things into account. I listened to the bigger streamers and ex-pro players. I looked at how high ranked games would go and of course I looked at the synergies between agents and their abilities. So let's get into my tier lists. If you like this kind of content, consider leaving a like and subscribing. On a side note, I'm going to start with the lowest rank. Let's start with the C tier. All the agents in this tier are not necessarily bad, but have way less utility to help a team win consistently. And of course, you can still do very well with these agents. Jet. Jet is a fantastic pop stomper with her quick dashes and her very fun ultimate. But what makes Jet a C tier is that she has no teamwork utility. Her smokes don't last long enough compared to other agents and all of her abilities are just for herself. She has no information gathering abilities, no healing and a very limited visual blocker in her smokes. If you are a god tier player you can do very well with her, because she is a fragger but in the sense of ranked high level play she will be an underused agent in my opinion. Don't get me wrong I love Jet and I play her all the time. A raise. I would say a lot of people who just have been playing this game for a couple of days or hours would say I am crazy. In almost every game there is a race fragging out, but let me explain. Raze has zero teamwork based abilities, and all her abilities are for her to do damage. And yes, the grenade and rocket launcher are easy kills, but the more you play, the less you get caught by them. If you know how to play a race player, all her abilities are very low tier. The grenades are easy to avoid by not standing in the usual grenade places, and the rocket launcher you can hear from miles away. Raze is just a pop stomper, and that is probably what she will be for quite some time. B tier. The B tier has the same issues as the C tier, not very team oriented, but just a little less. Let's start with Omen. I had some trouble to rank Omen, because he does have some team oriented abilities, some of them very good as well. But I think his ultimate just holds him back. His smoke bombs are super strong and you can place it wherever you want without taking a step, and it'll last super long. His teleport is made for sneaky plays and they will work quite some time. But when you get used to playing Omen, you will rarely fall for it anymore. His ultimate is a funny and cool play to do. Teleport behind him and make a play. But because it takes so long and the enemy will notice due to the voice line, the chances you will survive the round will be very low. Viper. She has such an interesting skill set that is versatile. She has a toxic smoke bomb she can activate whenever she wants to that also damages the enemy. She has a toxic wall she can also activate whenever she wants, that acts as a visual blocker, and her ultimate can win you a close round. But her smoke variant is just not the best in the game, and her wall is decent but how good is it actually in high level play? The more I play the Viper, the less trouble I had with her abilities and even her ult. Phoenix, the entry fragger with quick flashes, a very cool agent in my opinion but a very solo agent as well. The flash can be considered a team ability, but how many times have you been flashed by your own team's phoenix? Phoenix is a strong solo character, very strong abilities to push and control chokeholds with his molotov and the flame wall, and he can heal himself with his own fire abilities. His ult can be good in certain situations, but he is so super vulnerable when he dies in his ult that he will get pushed a lot after using it. The reason he is in the B tier is that he has barely any team oriented abilities. Let's move on to the A tier. These are the strongest and best agents in the game. Their skill set is versatile, team oriented and in high level games will make a difference for their team. Expect to see these agents a lot in ranked games. Breach. Breach is a very interesting character and the best initiator in the game. He can safely use all his initiating abilities from behind walls and can blind or stun very big areas. He will make it possible for your team to make a push and get easy kills. His flash is super strong and you will be blind for so long it is almost a guaranteed death. His basic stun ability can cover multiple choke holes if you aim it right, so he can impact multiple fights if necessary. A Breach with all his abilities can hold a bombsite on his own for quite some time if he needs to, and Breach is the best initiated character in the game. Brimstone the best smokes in the game. Brimstone can deploy 3 smokes at the start of the game from basically wherever he is. 
His smokes last for so long, making him a super strong team player. His Molotov is also a good area denier and his ult can delete the enemy team in an instant. Combine his ult with abilities that slow or give away the enemy location and he at least will get a kill or two. Brimstone is one of the agents you will see in every tier list at the top or close to it and it is for a reason. Cypher, one of the best if not the best information gatherer in the game. Cypher comes with a redeployable camera that he can turn on and off in an instant and he can recon dart enemies to reveal their location. Trapwires are his most annoying ability that will completely screw your flank or reveal your location completely. A good Cypher will gather information for his team every round and is impossible to flank. Cypher is a defensive monster and is capable of defending a bombsite by himself if needed. Sofa, the other information gatherer in the game that can compete with Cypher. The Recon Dart is the best information gathering ability in the game. A good Sofa player will be able to put that arrow almost everywhere on the map. And with the bounces you can add, you can definitely put it in interesting positions. His shock arrows do in between 90 and 40 damage and will not kill a lot of people but will annoy the heck out of them. Someone good with geometry will be able to shock and recon everywhere he wants to. Sofa will gather information and do damage to the enemy team making him a nightmare to play against. Now let's go to the last tier, the S tier. There's only one agent in here and everyone will agree with me, Sage. Sage is the strongest and most versatile agent in the game. She's the only team healer and solo healer in the game. If there is a good Sage player on the team, the chances of you winning the game go up a lot. She also has the best wall in the game you can't even walk through, and destroying it takes a while. Her slow orb makes great for denying routes, and the sound people make when walking on it makes it also a bit of an information gathering ability as well. And her ultimate ability, the revive, is the best in the game in my opinion. She is the ultimate supporting agent with a very versatile skill set. You will see Sage a lot on the highest levels and I think everyone agrees if I say she is the most useful agent in the game right now. This is my tier list and if you enjoyed please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree and maybe we can start some sort of discussion about it. And I will see you in the next video.